Point. Here at the Ultimate Inline Challenge, getting set to defend his street course title, Australian sensation, 19-year-old Matt Salerno. And last year here at Universal Studios Florida, Mark, he could do no wrong. That's right. Matt dominated the field and dazzled crowds as he put together flawless runs one after another. With his combination of technical grinds, big airs, and aggressive style, no one can touch him. And now, 365 days later, sporting much longer locks, Salerno set to go one more time. He comes out of the starting block so fast every time. And that, that was a, a fakey flip. Very unique to his skating. This is the first of two 65-second runs. The best one counts. He's heading toward the wall very quickly. Nice little wall ride. The seven judges looking for style, consistency, difficulty, and creativity or line, how each skater uses the whole course. Matt actually does more tricks than almost any other skater out here. That was very creative. That was called a monkey plan. didn't really start inline skating until he was 15 years old and entered his first major competition at the inaugural Extreme Games back in 1995, and he won the street course competition. And he's an amazingly accomplished skater. There was a little bit of criticism when he won that event because he did a lot of flip tricks here, showing his ability also as a grinder. In two years' time, he has become a much better technical skater. Down Heading here. back up to the start box. And that's going to do it for him. A very good start. Here with the wall ride, he got a little bit too close to the wall. And a monkey plant actually springing 540 degrees off of his hand. And his score, 61 points even, gets things rolling here at the Ultimate Inline Challenge. But today's main event, the Ultimate Inline Challenge. A by invitation only event that brings together the best from the world of inline skating. Racers will spin their wheels and use powerful strides to propel themselves over a variety of distances, everything from 100 meters to 20 kilometers. Aggressive skaters will be at their very best on the vert ramp, digging deep for big tricks. On the street, technique is key. And as always, altitude. Lots of it. Not only on the street and the vert ramp, but in the high air and the high jump competition. Bigger is always best. And the best have come to the Sunshine State to compete in the ultimate inline challenge presented by Rollerblade here at Universal Studios Florida in Orlando. A couple of changes for this year's street course competition here at the Ultimate Inline Challenge. Number one, the runs have been shortened to 65 seconds, meaning more tricks packed into a shorter period of time and much more energetic skating. And number two, the judging has been tweaked to put a greater emphasis on style and variety. Translation, to win this event, a skater must go big, be technical, not boring, near perfect, and leave an indelible mark on the minds of the judges. Now, this course has the skaters very excited Mark Shays has why. Mark? Mike, this course is a veritable playground in, in part because of three elements. First of all, this, the 10-foot vertical wall. It's got a two-foot gap between the wall and the landing. That means guys have to get really big. They have to get sideways, and they have to be in control on the landing. Second of all, the two center boxes, they've been moved much closer together. That's so that skaters can go from one to the other. You'll see big gaps and much more creative lines. The third thing is the ultimate box. The ultimate box has a slanted wall ride. It has a planter, it has a rail, and it has wedges sending skaters every which way. This street competition is going to be amazing, and in big part because of this street course. 
We've seen the first run of Matt Salerno. This is the first run of Matt Andrews, 17 years old, from Carmichael, California. Matt loves the wall ride. He's pretty much figured out a run, and that is poetry on skates. A big, beautiful wall ride, getting sideways and riding 10 feet across it. Another young, talented skater competed mostly as an amateur in 1996. Oh, so clean. Nice wall ride to 180 on the ultimate box. Coming in fakie, that means backwards, and then jumping up and doing what they call a kind grind. He's actually sliding on the side of his front skate. And again, Mark, to emphasize, the judges broadening the scope of what they're looking for. Yeah, the, the ability level out here has gone up so much in the past year. Everybody's pretty consistent. So they're really looking for some trick that will dazzle them, something that will leave an indelible mark in their mind. And Andrews having a very solid run. Very nice opening run here to get. Here's a look at the 360, totally in control, and then he gets up on the wall. His favorite kind of street course, anything that allows him to get off the ground. I like to do lots of airs and stuff. I don't, I don't grind as much, but so it's, it's fun because there's lots of stuff to air on. Well, no matter what a skater's style or personality is, there's something for everyone on this street course. Last year's X Games street course champion gives us a skater's eye view. Okay, it's Arlo Eisenberg here at the Rollerblade Ultimate Inline Challenge for the second ASA comp of the year. Suffering the humiliation of my peers out here in this getup so that I can show you a skater's eye view of the course here. We're up on the starting box where you see most of the skaters starting, but it's not mandatory, so you'll see some guys starting at other places. But most of us are gonna start here. And you can either roll down, set up for the big launch, or skate this rail right here. Excuse me, Matt Mance. And now we're rolling down to the big box, which is where you'll see the biggest air of the day, or people grinding down this ledge. And over here is one of the more creative pieces, sort of a imitation water hazard with a rail going over it. We'll get back to that in a second, but here's the uh, G-Shock quarter pipe where you'll see a lot of skaters setting up for their next tricks. And the better skaters, since they're all good, but the ones who are gonna really stand out and separate themselves are ones who actually do tricks there instead of just setting up. Here's the most creative piece on the course, a big wall ride. And you'll see some guys going really big on this and doing creative things that you won't see in other competitions. Ah! We're gonna head back over to the Bower Box where the pure street skaters can show up their skills in the latest grinds. See here is some coping that they can grind, but set up on the burnt quarter pipe here and go back and show on the other side. On one side, we've got the round coping. On the other side is the angle iron for variety and grinding. And then over here is a seldom used piece, but creative, and it's a bold quarter pipe with a rail on top. I'll show you one last thing. As we set up on the Burke quarter pipe again, remember, judges are awarding points for which skaters use the course the best and hit the most pieces, and there's a lot here to hit. You got the rail going downstairs and the imitation ledge, but with the angle iron. He's all right. Again, trying to re recreate real street. We're gonna go back up the big starting box with the big rail for the bravest street skaters. And that's a skater's view of the ASA skating course. Hope you enjoyed it. We did, Arlo, although the course not quite as perilous as some of the other attractions here at Universal Studios Florida. Ultimate Inline Challenge is presented by Rollerblade, fighting for freedom, justice, and a really dialed ride. Stay tuned. And in part by Dunkin' Yo-Yo. If it isn't a Dunkin', it isn't a Yo-Yo.